The biggest way to inspire our kids to go after their dreams and goals is to not give up on ours. Hi, my name is Eric and welcome to the My Endurance Life Podcast. Today's episode, episode one, I'm going to be going over three things to help us as parents reach our endurance life goals. So the first thing I want to bring up is we're busy. As a parent, moms, dads, like it's nobody really knows how busy we are unless you're a parent. Um, our kids don't even know how busy we are. We go to work, prepare the home, make food for them, run them off to sports, school, and you, you name it, we drop a lot of stuff to get them where, where they want to go. Um, and as an endurance sport athlete, it's hard to fit all this training in. Some, like, some people are super extreme where they wake up at four, two, three, four in the morning and run before they get their kids to school or go to the work. Others run at night. Others, you know, have a flexible schedule they can run during the day. But whatever your schedule is, there's complications that come with being a parent. Um, and me, speaking from experience, I at one point I was coaching my kids' travel ball team, uh, baseball baseball team and then working full time and then training for a marathon that I was running with my daughter so full plate I know what it's like oh and it was during the holidays too the bulk of our training was through the Christmas holidays so I'd get home from work we'd have a couple miles to run we'd knock it out and but there's lots of times where we had to run in the dark we had to run in the rain stuff like that and so the easiest way then the only way that I found us to be able to run together and complete the LA Marathon together was to communicate. I had to, me and my wife had to be on the same schedule. She had to know what my training schedule was, so she knew how to plan her day. If we had four miles to run, she knew that we'd be gone for about 40 minutes. If we had six miles to run, about an hour. If it was a long run day, she'd know we'd be gone an hour and a half or so. And then lots of times she would ride her bike along with us and cheer us on. So another way to get more time in is to have your loved one join you. Um, so that's a that's a tip with inside a tip. I think is like the more involved your family gets with you, the the better off your training is going to be. But first and foremost, you got to communicate. Put your training schedule on the refrigerator so they know, like, and scratch it off and make notes like, hey, today I'm going to be gone for an hour and a half. I got a long run or a long bike or a long swim I got to do when I got home. Or she, your wife or your husband can tell you, hey, like, you know, little Johnny's got a band performance at school today. Like, you might not be able to get your, your training in. And so then you have a mindset when you get home from work or doing whatever that, oh, okay, instead of being bummed and, or, you know, so, irritated about it you can you can be prepared and know okay I'm gonna have to alter my training a little bit I'm gonna do my long day on this day instead because I got more time so the more you communicate the more training you can get in um, tip number two that I want to go over is eat healthy I mean how many times have you has somebody brought donuts or bagels into work and you chow down on that and then you just feel like a slug the rest of the day and then you get home from work you know you got to pound out a couple miles but you just don't feel up to it but had you had a healthy breakfast skip the bagel skip the donut your mind would have been there your physical you would have felt better so physically you would have been there and I mean it happens to me it happens to everybody like especially around the holidays like I'm filming now in November the office is filling up with treats and it's like so hard to walk by that but you just got to be disciplined and what I found that helps me is I eat my breakfast before or on the way to work I got a 35 minute commute to work so I drink my protein shake on the way to work so when I get there and I know those goodies are going to be in the break room I I'm not tempted to grab it because I'm already full so Oh, and nutrition, okay, other than like the physical good stuff that comes from nutrition, I mean, I'm sure you're not arguing about that, that eating healthy is good, but the mindset that comes with it too, that I didn't realize this until um, I really dialed in my nutrition and got, you know, I live by the 80-20 rule. This is something my, my wife taught, taught me. 80, and just like training, just like our, our aerobic fitness and our training schedules, that we um, train easy for 80% of the time. So I eat healthy, a, like really focus on my eating healthy 80% of the time. And then you have like 20% of the time that you can splurge. And But I mean, not in excess, and not even splurge, just like, you get what I'm saying. 80% of the time, you um, 
really focus in and make sure you're eating super well, but then like you can sneak in that hamburger or those french fries or something like that. So that's really something I want to like impress on you that 80% of the time eat healthy, um, dial in your nutrition and it's gonna just it's gonna do volumes for your mindset you're gonna feel better about yourself you're gonna and your body's gonna feel better so when your body feels good you get home you're eager to run you're eager to do a bike ride you're eager to just get outside and go and go after it and then number three this is big that there's with kids with a family with being a parent there's gonna be you're gonna have to cancel some stuff so don't get bummed about it this is more the reason we're endurance sports athletes as parents is not for the glory days that we're out there because we love the sport that we're doing we love running we love biking cycling we love swimming whatever it is we love trail running if you're a trail runner um we just love doing it and then the finish line isn't the end all be all that the reason we're doing this is beyond the finish line it's going is to inspire us to inspire others really, to inspire our children to, to join us, to show them that being outside and being active is a, just an awesome lifestyle. What it does for our for our mental well-being, for our mental health, um, I can't tell you like how many days I've had a rough day at work and I just get home, get a run in and just all my stress and anxiety is gone and I'm sure that you know that helps you can speak about that too so just always remember that like when something interrupts our training or if we ever have to cancel a race because you know like you sign up for races well in advance before you know your kids schedule and then sometimes and more often than not that their their baseball game their soccer game will, will be on the same day as your race day and you'll either have to you know transfer that or just cancel and not to not go so just be ready for that and know that you're doing this for the long haul that you're in it yeah it's cool getting medals and you know it's cool for the instagram posts and all that but um if you're doing it just for that one medal if you think you're going to quit after that then um i don't know I, I really don't know what to say to that but for me and i'm just speaking for myself i'm in this just because I love being outside. I love what it does to my body, the way I feel, and metal or no metal, I know I'm gonna be running. Metal or no metal, I know I'm gonna be riding my bike, and especially running out in the trails with my dog. So this is episode one. Um, thanks for watching. I'm gonna be trying to drop a new uh, podcast, video podcast episode like this every Tuesday, so be on the lookout for them. They're gonna get better, I promise that. This is my first one, um, just trying to figure it out. I'm figuring YouTube out. Eventually, I wanna get on Spotify and all that stuff once I figure out those channels. So thanks for watching. Visit my website, mindersLife.com. There's always free resources there for you to download, and as it grows, I'm gonna be adding more too. So thanks for listening, watching if you're on YouTube, and um, we'll see you next Tuesday.